picture couple, Mr. and Mrs. I'll never do you wrong. Rex and Giselle Boudou. Six years of marriage and not for a single moment have they ever picked up a quarrel. Some others, however, are not so lucky. to the bloody door! You can scream all you want, Alvin. But you ain't stepping an inch out of this house until I know what the fuck you're going to. Where am I going? What I do is not part of your business. Oh, oh yeah? Man, that's where you got it all wrong, nigga. Because you coming back home with lipstick stains and condoms in your pockets should be my goddamn business. So what do you want to do about it? What do you want to do? Put a chain on me, tie me all over, put a tattoo on my forehead saying the boy is mine. No, nigga. The tattoo rider should be the dog is mine because that's what your unemployed ass is. A dog I feed, clothe, house, and like God knows it. Fuck, I get it. Ew. Well said, Angie. Well said. But this dog wouldn't stray too far from his house if the bitch he calls a wife wasn't this fat, this shapeless, and to top it off, very, very nagging. Now take a lazy ass and a... And to say for the last time, don't give me the bloody key! You gotta be dreamless! Even think I'm going to let you have it! Rex and Giselle Boudou, the good, Angie and Alvin Mensa, the bad. So, we have seen the good, the bad. Now, let's meet the ugly. Ugly. Okay, so we have seen the good, the bad, the ugly. But what about the dirty? Who's speaking? Who's this? That's of no importance. I think you're a very good woman. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Your husband is cheating on you. You have to be careful. Very, very careful. Jane. Are you okay? Are you cheating on me? What are you talking about? Are you seeing any other woman apart from me? I am not seeing any other woman apart from you. Can you swear that you're not seeing any other woman apart from me? Ruby. I swear. I am not seeing any other woman apart from you. 
swear with everything you've got that you're not seeing any other woman apart from me. I swear with everything I've got. I'm not seeing any other woman apart from you. Jake, swear with your life. Swear with your life that you're not seeing any other woman apart from me. Ruby. I swear with my life that I'm not seeing any other woman apart from you. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. But cross your heart and hope to die. That you're not seeing any other woman. That you will never, ever, 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 ever see any other woman apart from me. Ruby, I cross my heart and swear with my life and hope to die that I'll never ever see any other woman apart from you. Okay. I guess I'm shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm on my way. I'll get in about, uh, give me like uh, 10 minutes. Hello? Still don't believe me? Why don't you come over to the Men's Vic Grand Hotel? Now. Men's Vic Grand Hotel? Yes, the Men's Vic Grand Hotel, East Lagos. At East Lagos? Yep, East Lagos. Now. Now, girl. Traffic, come on, take it easy, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I said I'm on my way. Just give me, give me like two more minutes. I'll be there. All right? Yeah, I love it too. Okay. Serious is coming. Do you not be singing for the past 15 to 30 minutes? I don't see anybody. No, if you know this is a joke, let me go home. Come on, is this a prank? I am serious, there's nobody here. Wait a minute. Let me call you back. He just drove in. Let me
Lady Gertrude. Who? Where is the boy you're sleeping with? Oh. Well, she's not in yet. What time is she coming? Tick tock, tick tock. Let me see. About five minutes, ten minutes approximately. What do you think? Or what? In how many minutes? Tell me. Who? Jake! You and I are waiting here all day. I don't care what you say to me. How could you do this to me? Why are you dressed like, like this? In a hotel room? Darling, is everything alright? That's rather a shallow term. Come up with something more atrocious. Fine. Um, cock sucker. Ouch. Ooh. Uh uh. Homo demon. Ooh, even better. <laughs> but you know, I still can't get it. When on earth did Jake develop homosexual tendencies? Exactly what I was pondering. What's wrong with you guys? Does it matter when, how, or why? The fact is, that nigga prefers a shithole to a pussy. Okay, can you be a little bit less vulgar people are around? Thank you. You see, now that's the problem with society. You want to paint the truth and make it more bearable so you can sell it in such as like candy bars. Whatever happened to being honest? Huh? Well, thanks for the mention of the word, Vera. But right now, we need a little bit more than honesty. We need wisdom. Ruby here needs practical advice. Take mine. Buy a gun and shoot the brother in his motherfucking head. Ouch! That's wicked. Though I personally would prefer castration. Cut Ow. off his nose. No? Manless. <laughs> You're crazy. But seriously, be a little bit more chore, Vera. For heaven's sake, we have a hurting friend sitting right before us. Put yourself in her shoes for a moment. Do you know what it means to wake up in the morning? and find out that your husband is not only cheating on you, but he's doing it with a person of the same gender? Yeah, that's so 